The Foul Mouth Al Show is brought to you by Elaine Carroll Studios. Please visit www.delawarevideography.com and The Sport Zone in Smyrna, 235 Stadium Street in Smyrna, Delaware. Check them out on Facebook. Let's go. 
Big TVs, football, and wings? Where at? Sports Zone? Oh, of course. Hey, y'all, this is Ricky, Buff Chief Jack's little nephew. Sports Zone is a great place for half off appetizers, $1.50 drafts, big TVs. Come on down. They even got TVs in the bathrooms. That's a Sports Zone in Smyrna, 235 Stadium Street. You can also check them out on the computer, www.sportszonede.com. All right, kids, welcome back to the Foul Mouth Owl Show. Yay. How the hell is everybody doing today? Fantastic. What Spring. an episode. What an episode last episode, huh? Ian Ugh. was fooled. He thought that uh, he thought that Squig and Michelle were having sex. Thought? Would you like to hear about it? He's got a song on it. Yeah, we wrote a little song. <laughs> wrote a song about it. Like a Look, this is Ian Pocket uh, calling Albert fucking... I'm not going to say the name. You record the actual sex. He yes. Po- he Sounds po- like it. Yes. He pockets. He pocket <laughs> butt dialed me while he was having sex with somebody. And he is nasty. Mm-hmm. God, he's nasty. All right, here we go, kids. What is wrong? Oh, I got to oh. I got to push this button over here. Due to technical difficulties. Can't you fuck me harder? It was good. It was good. It was I good. added the music. Uh, when's it going to be my turn? Ian's in there saying it was good. It was good. He's liking what's going on. Yeah. It was good. It was good. That's Ian. He didn't bang me hard enough. It was good. Oh. Oh. Not hard My enough. favorite part. <laughs> Ew. This is his grand finale. You have a lovely voice there. Good job, Ian. Thanks, Ian, the producer, Big Pen <laughs> Productions, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I thought that was Michelle and Squig. That's what it sounded like to me. And then when we started playing and everybody realized it was somebody else, was and somebody else. Ian. Yep. It was actually Ian. Man. He was so excited that he thought he had someone else busted. Man. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All week. All right, kids, welcome back to the... Found out Thou Show, sponsored by the Sports Zone in Smyrna, 235 Stadium Drive. Check them out at sportszonede.com. We were there this weekend. We had a hell of a time. We are back here now. We are with Lowdown 302. Yeah! Give these guys a hand. Came all the way from, where the hell are you guys from? Uh, Wilmington, Delaware. Wilmington. Yes. New- Newport is what Newport. I was told. Newport. Was it old Newport? Newport. Well, we were having a dis- uh, dispute of who was going to pick who up. Is um, that right? So, yes. so Newport and Wilmington—they're kind of next to each other. It's the same. Place. What Newport it's the same Gap Pike? Place. <laughs> forty-one, whatever it is. One forty-one. One forty-one. Route but, four. Uh, everyone in Newark, this, you know, they uh, think they're the center of the earth, and. Uh, well, it does revolve around some of us. Yeah. Everyone some should go us. to Newark to pick them up some instead of, of them coming yeah. up to Wilmington I'd to drive to Smyrna. Work perfect for me, actually. <laughs> So we're sitting here with Brett, Brent, Brent, yes, and Nate. Uh, low down three hundred two, yes, and Mohawk Management. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Sure. So what's going on with low down three hundred two? Well, uh, we see we have uh, just put out an album a couple months ago. Uh, it's called uh, "Race the Memories," um, which uh, we distributed copies to everyone. Hope yes. You, hope you enjoy them. Um, it has. Uh, it won't erase our memories, will it? Uh, oh shit! Maybe if you that way bang we... too hard and hit your head on something, that's like, good for yeah. online. You get more hits that way. At the end of the song, if you could erase their memory, they'll have to go back and play it again. Yeah, or maybe it just wipes the hard drive clean. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go and re-download it again. That's the trick. Yeah, right. Make money a couple times. Maybe if you're selling computers, you could just crash their whole damn machine. And... 
Fix your computer now. Click here. Oh, oh Chinese. Yeah, see? I'm, learn I'm learning Chinese. You know I some Chinese. I picked that up from Squig. That was South Korean, though. Was that more South Korean? I'm work I'll work on it. I'll get it. I promise. Oh, he's doing Arnold. <laughs> what? He's doing Arnold. Do it now. Do it now. Yeah. <laughs> it now. yeah. 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 What? Arnold Schwarzenegger. No. <laughs> Fucking. He's so bad. That sounds weird, dude. <laughs> yeah. All right, so these guys are a hard rock, a metal group. You guys play at Frightland? Uh, yeah, we played at Frightland uh, a few years ago. Uh, it was a pretty fun weekend that we had there. What's that place like? I've never been there. Let's give um, them a plug because Halloween's either. coming up there. It is... Um, it's they have the haunted hay rides and the haunted houses. They also have carnival rides like uh. So what do they separate. do? Do they screw the band? Is that why you didn't play there again? Is that how it works? <laughs> no, uh, they changed their booking and they're going with a specific booking agent now. I see. Um, that you don't work with anymore. That we don't work with. I see. Yeah. It's getting political out there's, here. In there's the, only uh, a couple groups that play with them, and you all know those groups because they play everywhere that has anything. Who are those groups? Um, what is it? The uh, the Shore Bets and the... Uh, is it Shore Bets or Midnight Sun? A uh, little bit of each, I think. Okay. Yeah, shore so Bets, Midnight Sun. Shore Bets, Midnight Sun. They're, they're, your, they're your top, your top uh, management in the cover band aspect. Not original band, they're cover band. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. But nice. before that, they, uh, they like the scary, uh, the scary metal music for their October. Yeah. Right. And we had, uh, we had a really good time there, you know, um, basically playing in, in the line for the Hayride, which means you get... Is that the one in Westchester? Thousand. No, that's the one uh, in Middletown or oh, Fort Penn, okay. right off Route 1. That was a real fun time. It rained just about the whole time, but we still played through it. It was good. Good fun time. So um, what do you guys got coming up on your schedule at this time? Uh, we have um, coming up, we have the first we're playing at Mojo 13. Um, October 1st? October 1st, yes. Okay. And then uh, October 7th, we're at J.P. McGinnis uh, with a couple other groups. Um, then we're playing again at J.P. McGinnis on the 28th. Uh, and then we have November 12th, we have a uh, show at Pen Creek Bang Shots with uh, good friends from uh, Black Hand and a, uh, a new group that's coming out. Super group, if you will. Super group? <laughs> yeah. Who's that? Well, uh, well they're still, uh, still kind of on the down low, so... The down low, yeah. yeah. They're not on the low down though. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna become a gonna be a surprising revelation. Is that right? Yes. Who's in the band? Uh, it's, well, that's that's what can't tell. Is. Oh my goodness, yes, it's, 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 a, it's a, a mystery. It's something new and exciting and fun. It's yeah. gonna bother me all day tomorrow. <laughs> Who the fuck is it? <laughs> day tomorrow. Yeah, but by the next day you'll forget all about. It. I know. You'll be fine. I said tomorrow. Yeah, I think tomorrow. it might be uh, Lou Reed Metallica. Forever. Yeah, listen <laughs> to the CD yeah, and erase your memory. Not quite Lou Reed, not quite Metallica. Definitely what the fuck? Time. I'm the table. So have you played at McGinnis before? Oh, yeah, many times. I love yeah. that bar. Do you? Albert I and say, I stopped there. Like it? <laughs> it's, a, it's a fun place to play good sound system. That's what I always liked good, the best uh, about it when I was yeah. there. And it's like a theater area. It's sort of big where the stage is and shit. And they so. have a nice, friendly mm. bar. That's where it's, you know, oval-shaped. You can see people mm -hmm. across from you. Mm. You know, so it's... people drinks. Yeah, I like playing there because they have a good sound system. So, you know, you don't have to worry about cranking your amps and... You know, trying to mix everything right, they do that for you. you right, just go up right. There and just play. So, well, one, of the, that. one of the better venues we have for playing mm -hmm. music. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So, um, you have a song you're going to play for us here? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, I'm going to attempt an acoustic version of one of the songs off the album, a song called Old Friend. Old Friend? Mm -hmm. Tell us about that song. What's it about? Uh, that song is a uh, basically a song about people kind of exiting your life. Uh, maybe it's not on the best conditions. What, like a dog getting hit by a car? My old friend. Aww. More Aww. like, Aww. yeah, more like people uh, Touched a nerve, saying "f you" to each other and kind of leaving, leaving, mm -hmm. leaving things on a bad note. Yeah, that's what it's all kinda, about. Kind of what that song's about. So, <laughs> did you write the lyrics for the song? Oh uh, yeah, I wrote the lyrics. <laughs> so it had had to do with the particular. Uh, uh, is the guy the song is about? Is his picture in there at all? No, no, no. <laughs> uh, it's not that guy. Was it? It the, wasn't a girlfriend. The the song. Boy, that, it was a friend. Friend. The the person whose picture is being erased, if you will, <laughs> from that picture, uh, isn't about the song, but he kind of walked head first oh. into the meaning of it. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. So the, the Isn't that funny how that happens? Sometimes yeah. you find a song and it just walks right into what you know you got going on, or 
the song was written uh, about a couple different people, actually. But right. Kind of, kind of made it sound like one person for the purpose of the song. That's very cool. Yeah, the inside of the album cover is uh, a picture of the three band members and our former guitarist being burned out of the picture. <laughs> and Thought it was if, suiting. And if you lose the th- th- oh here no it does have a uh, text or uh, image on it. I was gonna say if you lose it you won't be able to find it, but it has a nice graphic on the other side there. Lowdown 302. It just says lowdown. Are we going mm. with lowdown? I didn't know you guys were lowdown 302. I always thought you were just lowdown. It's kind of either way. Okay. When <laughs> what's what's the name I like, anyway? I don't know that band. Some people and call us like, 302. Yes, you do. Uh, like, oh, uh, the 302 started with the uh, with the MySpace page. Couldn't get just lowdown, so we put 302 at the end of it, and people just started calling it. So, so sometimes do you have we go a, by it. Sometimes we don't. Do you have a website that you use? or? Uh, we primarily use the Facebook page now. Uh, it's okay. Facebook.com slash lowdown302. Facebook.com. We also have... Uh, Reverb yeah, Nation. Yeah, I actually just set them up recently with the Reverb Nation page. Okay. And you can actually link right to that, www.lowdown302.com. Oh, yeah. We'll take you right to the Reverb page. Lowdown302.com. That's, that's why Nate's sure. here, to that's, do this stuff. I, I just play music. That's all I know how to do. <laughs> yep, mm-hmm. see? That's we, very, that's very yep, cool. We started bugging him to try to do our technical stuff for us. Mm-hmm. 302.com. We'll take you right to the Reverb page. From there, you can... Slide that mic over. You can, listen to, you can listen to songs. You can download music. You can actually purchase the music directly from the page. Um, there's a, a schedule. Email list. You can sign up for email list. Uh, basically, any kind of thing you'd want to do to follow a band, listen to a band, check a band out. It's all on uh, lowdown302.com. Very good. So it's easy to find, lowdown302.com. It's not 302, it's 302. <laughs> Is it 302? It's 302. 302. Sorry about that. 302. 302, not O-H. Yeah, right. 302. Or O, the letter O. Letter not the letter o. o, the number zero. Right. As, as we heard prominently in the uh You the could last say 302 forever and people will still dial 302 they yeah. know what you mean they and the uh, mean. the picture on the inside there is actually from uh, from my wedding who thought about burning that dude out that's sweet <laughs> <laughs> i did that um just trying to come up with ideas for the album cover i didn't have any idea that's of what real, to do that's real real cool and one snowy night i just went outside and uh, just kind of lit a picture on fire and took a picture of it in my hand and you said oh he's gone cover. yeah well, that's sweet he uh, did not leave the group on good terms yeah, but how awesome is it, though, that, it, I mean, if he'd have known at the time, I mean, maybe he would have lined up in the middle of that picture? How, uh, how fucking hard would that have been? You'd have been burned off to try before and, it got to, to him. Try and burn, yeah, to try and burn somebody else off and to get to him. Yeah. And that, that would have tough. created a bad omen, and then bad stuff would have happened to your band. <laughs> yeah, but oh, that, uh, Matt's, uh, Matt's kind of a little bit on fire there. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's next. No. <laughs> where's Matt at now? Fire hmm. spreads. Matt, uh, where's Matt? couldn't make it tonight because he's getting his asshole bleached. Um, Ian needs something like that. What the fuck? Why couldn't he do that on Ian. the show? Hmm? That's, hmm? Why couldn't he do that on the show? I told him about it. I was like, they'd probably love to see that. I have somebody that oh. would do it for him for free. Oh, shit. I have so. somebody that'll wax his ass and then bleach it, as, and then we'll, next week he would come back and get Are it Are you here now? Not tonight. I would have gladly gotten yeah. mine done just for the sake of getting it done. Well, Damn. I'm actually due. Really, I, mean, I had butterflies just for the sake of getting it. Do you have ass it, sweat problems? No, but I'm, Ian I'm, does. I'm getting older, and it's just done. It's not just not not as bright white as it used to be. The butterflies well, are attracted to it. Yeah, my now, my age, it's a little browner now than it ever used to be. Yeah, some people. That's from stainage. I, I know. Some I, people get me, dark circles under their eyes. Some people get a big dark stain and a crack in their ass. Who knows? Actually, mine's more of a skid. It's more of a skid burn than it is a stainage. It's from, like a, from the going in, not the coming out. Oh. Yeah. And when you let it... Dr- what is the... Oh, okay. He gets, uh, yeah. he gets really oh nervous. God, I have a... visual? He gets a little nervous, a little, little rumbly when he has to do a show, and then it, you know, <laughs> he collects like a brown water, like defying gravity Goodness. the whole time yeah. he's playing. And, and if you get a real... She's offended by the If you get real show. drunk at I'm night... I'm not oh. offended. I, I just pictured you I doing thought, it, and it made I always thought chicks dug gay guys. What's the issue? <laughs> Only to go shopping. Well, as long as she's picking on you, not me, go for it. That's what I'm here for. Get him. Once again, management. That comes with the label. That comes with the having my own business card. I get picked on. <laughs> so, Nate, do you guys, do you, what kind of talent do you look for with Mohawk's management? 
Uh, we do it all, Al. I mean, if if you want, we can even manage your anal bleacher later, lady. Uh, whatever she's got going on, we can we can bring her some business too. We we pretty much do it all. Well, that's what the foul mouth um, Al show is all about: connecting everybody that's, together that's, and get, make it trying to make some business happen. Yeah, you know, it shows. I think probably a lot of people would go for it. Yeah, I mean, we're we're working on all kinds of stuff. If you got, hey, maybe we should just I, make that part of the next music festival I, we're planning. We'll have a bunch of the bands off from Mohawk Management, and everybody can come tent. up. And we have a b- ass bleaching and ass yeah, waxing tent. Awesome. We, yeah, we can. Yeah. Right? We can, we can pretty much and set see, up that's just why, about anything you want to do, my friend. We can set see, it and up. I was talking to Michelle earlier about getting some other photographers to come on and help. That way, if we have we have a festival, you could have a photographer on a stage, a photographer at Nate's booth, people walking around taking pictures throughout the festival, and you have somebody just specifically for the ass bleaching tent. We can I'm we can sure set that up. We can we can set that up. Sure, Michelle. You would have to get your, yeah. She'd be yes. jealous if you actually assigned anyone else for the ass bleach picture. She's yes. she's the one assigning the uh, assignment, so I'm sure she could assign herself to whatever ass, ass assignment bleaching. she wants. <laughs> she could oversee the that, ass bleaching. Yes, mm-hmm. that job stinks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the ass bleachers <laughs> and ass waxers would prefer that your ass be. <laughs> powder puff clean when you come there they don't want a sweaty ass in yeah. if you get your yeah. ass bleached or waxed dude don't come down here with no I'll ass sweat you definitely want to ble- right oh, you definitely want to wax too you don't want we need a man pond stubble is nasty. Yeah, <laughs> could you imagine your ass with your ass crack with stubble oh <laughs> damn a sweaty ass crack with stubble dude, <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna tell you it itches from experience it itches he knows it itches it does. you get used to it yeah, it was up from that. Especially, sh- especially in the summertime. I already know. Mm. I heard about you on that stripper mm. pole. Mm. Burn all of your mm. shit off. Mm. Yes, sir. You know what I hate when you go to the beach <laughs> and you go body surfing and then you get out of the beach and then you get out of the beach and then you go up to the shower and then you got to take a poop. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> poop. Poop. And then you wipe your ass before you get to the shower. It's like wiping your ass with a belt sander, man. You got all this sand in the crack of your ass. <laughs> you ever had that happen to you? I hate that when that happens. Uh, I, he has. Walking down the boardwalk no, I shit in the sand ocean. in your taint. Just I, just oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just go back in the ocean and shit in the ocean. Oh. I mean, what, yeah, but just, don't the sharks huh. bite you? I never had a problem. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I huh. see. It seems to me that every time I get out of the w- ocean and I go up and I get ready to get a shower, just the movement hits me. It's time to, you know, get Jerk off? Poop. No, I'm pooping. Oh. <laughs> pooping. You know, at the beach, it's weird, because at home, I poop every morning. But when I go to the beach, it throws off my rhythm. You know at 9 I mean? o'clock at night. Your calendar. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it's like calendar. 5 o'clock in the evening. I did not poop yet for the day. Things got to get moving, you know what I mean? So you get out of the ocean, and you're, you're, got into, to be regular. you're in the facility. I think that might have something to do with it. It's like, hey, you know, here we are. There's the floor drain. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's the toilet. We're in the facility. You know, and then you just get the motion to go. And then if you didn't get the shower first, which you don't want to do. You don't want to take a shower and then have to take a shit. It's the current. <laughs> that sucks. The current just gets everything rolling. That's what it is. Just let it just Bad stay timing. out there long enough till you poop. And then, you Same know, it's, on the dock the, of the bay. it's not time to get out of the ocean, folks, when you're at the beach until you poop in the ocean. Mm-hmm. I know what this segment's called. Mark your territory. No wonder they don't, <laughs> people don't do that. Low today. down, poop. <laughs> people used to do that all the time. What? Poop in the ocean, take showers he in the does. ocean. I poop in the ocean now. Yeah, yeah but he's a rare <laughs> thing. Not many be? people do it. They don't do it as much as they used to. That's why you see all these shark attacks, man. If people started pooping in the ocean again, the sharks wouldn't fuck around up there. They just eat that shit. Yeah, Probably they, why I never been bit. Maybe it's good shark repellent. <laughs> maybe. It may be. Maybe you have something there. Hey, 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 hey. easy, easy. Don't let that out. Uh, now I'm working on a uh, <laughs> yeah. human feces shark repellent. <laughs> like the, the, Mo- metal, the mesh suit. <laughs> yeah. Mohawk Management's going to uh, market that also. We, yeah. we, we can market anything. It's part of your electronic press yes, kit, kids. Yes, sir. You're going to get shark poop ass repellent. <laughs> <laughs> gonna, this, uh, this broadcast is going to get out and next this, year. You're going to see you know, one sexy fast. girls walking down the beach in their little bikinis. They're going to have a brown stain down their leg. <laughs> no, look, every <laughs> time they a uh, lifeguard be like shark, they show everybody at the beach. <laughs> no, they'll have a little. They'll have a little sack that's seeping brown stuff <laughs> on the side of their <laughs> yeah, bikini, just dripping out. Is that an eel? Oh. No, that's shark repellent. <laughs> shark repellent. That's my shark repellent. Yeah, it's repelling a lot of stuff. But it sure is attractive. <laughs> flies. Get back in the water. Yeah, does your ass crack in khakis draw flies? No. Not yet. I saw an image on Facebook. Somebody put an image, and it's a faraway picture. Is that you? Yep. What? It's a faraway picture. It's not of me. 
It's a far away yes. picture. Did you take the picture? No. Okay. It's a far away picture and then an up close picture. And up, up far away, you see this lady's fat ass and there's something in the center of her <laughs> ass crack. And then there's an up close oh, picture yeah. and it's an ass crack with some sweat and a bunch of flies. All, I mean, it's yeah, a bunch of flies. I've never all seen it. And what's it say? You get, it's the ass sweat stink champion or something? Um, swamp ass. Swamp, swamp ass, ass champion. I think I saw that on uh, peopleofwalmart.com. Yeah, I think yeah. it's right there. People of Walmart. Oh, yeah, I stole mine from one of those. Oh, yes, sir. What is peopleofwalmart.com? Now, what is it, Ian? Oh, my God. It's just a, a site, like what he said, and just people of Wal- people shopping in Walmart, like their pajamas. And Early in the morning. <laughs> Super sexy outfits. Right. right. Yes. It's an understatement. Uh, uh, Curlers in your head. Super sexy. It's an understatement. <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> Are we still recording, Ian? Have you checked the uh, anything? Yeah. No, tape's we, still rolling? We missed this whole segment. Let's yeah, start over. And we've done that before. Oh, I'm going home. <laughs> that happens, right? All right, so what's this say here? Faithful Friend Rally. Ah, this is um something that we have coming up that, uh, not really a lowdown thing, but it's uh, my wife over here, uh, Mandy. Mandy. Is putting Mandy. Mandy. Oh, that's what that says. Yes, Mandy. Mandy's Thanks, Miss Mandy. My, uh, my chicken scratch there is very legible. Don't let Sorry him talk shit about you. <laughs> chicken scratch. So uh, she's putting on a uh, a rally for uh, for faithful friends and um, with faithful friends. With faithful friends. What is faithful friends? Tell us about faithful that. Faithful friends is a nonprofit organization that um, is sponsored by the government, believe it or not, um, in Delaware, that um, gives home to homeless animals. And it is a no-kill shelter, meaning that when animals come in, under no circumstances other than complete sickness, are they to be euthanized. Um, through Facebook, I am a part of a other organization known as Pet Pardons. I was nominated, long story short, I was nominated to represent our state in a rally for either to protest a no-kill shelter, a high-kill shelter, or rally for a no-kill shelter. So I am, on November 12th, before their show, um, I will be sponsoring Faithful Friends for the rally to sponsor and adopt uh, the Faithful Friends. This will be a really kind of big thing and my first actual thing that I'm doing on my own, so thanks for the plug. Yeah, we're yeah. gonna uh, we're gonna attempt to get you know a lot of people involved, people who you know wanna wanna bake things. Uh, we're gonna try to get a couple musicians there to play songs. Um, you know, anything basically to help get people there and to to help find attract homes attention. For animals, attract attention. Yeah, that's you know we're gonna get try to get news uh, news coverage. When is that going on? It's November twelfth. I might like to help on that. Me too. Where November twelfth. Like that. What? Where is it happening at? It's supposed to happen again. at Faithful Friends, which is um, on Maryland Avenue in Wilmington, but because it's probably going to be such a big event, we're probably going to have to move it to either A, Canby Park, which is across the street from it, or we're going to try to have it at the mouth of the industrial park where Faithful Friends is located. So um, I'm actually this week trying to get a hold of the um, executives of Faithful Friends so we can come up with an actual location. So it sounds like a good cause. The Faithful Friend Rally, um, no kill shelters for animals. Mm-hmm. All and animals. And November 12th, all animals. Yes. Horses, goats, orangutans. Um, <laughs> I wish. So, that would surprisingly, be awesome. yeah, but they don't get too many of them there. Yeah. yeah. It's mostly um, uh, it's it's amazing. cats. Lots um, of stray cats. So um, do you have a. Um, do you have a website, Facebook, something a, we can yes. make sh- keep up with it, make yep. sure we figure out where if it's at go, on November 12th? If you go on to Lowdowns, Fan page. Lowdown 302. Yes, Lowdown's fan page. Um, he has it Zero linked. Two. Uh, yeah, 302. 302, yes. Like the area code. Um, it is linked from his page to my invite. And so it's go public... to the lowdown302.com and... Yes, and it's you... under... And... There's a link there for you. So sad. And well, that's something that's always bothered me, like... Yeah, most I, of my life. I have a sad story about that. I got a lot of them. I, my <laughs> wife and I, we had we had a cat come to our house. We she had kittens. We got her fixed. The kittens were at her house. We went to get. We were had a 
vacation scheduled. And so we went to go on vacation, and we went to the SPCA, gave them the animals, gave them money, told them we'd be back. If nobody took them, we'd come back and get them when we were gone. When we came back, they were euthanized. Oh, I was mm. pissed Kittens. off. Kittens. Isn't that something? Kittens. Yeah. And they could have gave them away rather than um, trying to make them. It's really sad. The Pet Pardons um, organization that I'm on with Facebook actually does that. And we do, um, what we do is we, um, I guess, use that organization to find homes for these animals all around the states. So if there's a dog that needs to be out of these high-kill shelters immediately. We post it on Facebook. Somebody says, hey, I want that dog. And then we try to find homes for that dog immediately. So I totally empathize with everyone who does that. We actually just, um, two months ago, um, adopted one who somebody just shut out. He was a, um, <clears throat> he was a rescue because somebody bought him as a pet and nobody wanted him to take care of him, so they shoved him out. Hmm. And he was my, now he's ours. That's he's awesome. Dog. She has uh, tons of people that are, are back in this already right now and, you know, always welcome to more. Uh, so, if yeah. yeah. It seems like the best pets seem to be mutts and rescues and stuff like that. So <laughs> And you believe, believe it or not, if you want a specific breed, a, um, a, like any type of breed, if you just say, hey, Mandy, I need to find this type of dog, believe it or not, there's dogs out there. Yeah. You can locate them, I something locate, that they're looking for. I can locate mm -hmm. a specific breed for you. On the, wow. So give really, Mandy. So hey, anyone who's looking to get involved. Yeah. Shout. Do you have an email that people can get a hold of you want to give it's out? It's on my Facebook. It's right on our Facebook. Mm -hmm. What's the name on your Facebook? Mandy Lynn Johnson. Mandy Lynn. L-Y-N-N. M-A-N-D-I. M-A-N-D-I. L-Y-N-N. Johnson. And the, on Facebook. Yes, and the event is under the National Protest Against No-Kill Shelters for America, Delaware section. There you go. You have it, folks. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That was awesome. Very good. All right, so we got to know about Brent's third testicle. <laughs> <laughs> and also, uh, right next to us, uh, Nate, Nate is becoming Natasha. Nate is becoming yes. Natasha. He's okay. actually giving me his testicle. You let that out, didn't you? <laughs> what? You it's on the sheet. To. Look, it's right there. He wants a nickname it. of Oliver North. <laughs> I thought that I was... I mean, uh, I figured if people want to know about my third testicle, people are going to know where I'm getting it from. I'm donating. So, yeah, he's donating. Yeah, I'm donating. <laughs> I'm actually donating two, but uh, they're going to kind of... <clears throat> you know what? I might have an extra nut for you. <laughs> Come over here. <laughs> Anyone yeah, you got one left over from yeah, the I got one on that I, Sunday. I didn't burn off <laughs> yet. <laughs> the other one we're actually going to frame in the living room. You're going to bring it to shows and I'm hang it above the drums. So you got to tell us what's going on I'm with this. I'm going to put it in next year's birthday bag. Yeah, in a <laughs> little tweezer stand. <laughs> yeah. Nothing, we're just making shit up for just the making shit for the up. sake thereof. Okay, third yeah. testicle, not real. Nate's going to become Natasha. No, well, not. It's still a possibility. Well, that, that usually happens on weekends when there's a full moon after midnight. He is wearing flip-flops out. Yeah, was that absolutely. you at the drag show up at Mojo the other day? He does paint his toenails. No, I I, uh, <laughs> I go out of state when I do my gay stuff. Okay. Yeah, I always learned you don't shit where you eat. Usually Connecticut. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that why they're all up there in Connecticut? The so Connecticut. which one do you do here? <laughs> the Swingers Convention. You should or eat here. I eat here. <laughs> so you're a bottom up there. Yes, right. yes, sir. Power bottom? Just regular. Just, Still practicing. Just regular. Yes, so sir. we practicing. got some other band really members learning. that uh, didn't show up. Yeah, it's uh, Tuesday night. Really doesn't work out. Like I said, Matt's getting his asshole bleached. He couldn't put, it's the second time bleached. he pushed it back. He couldn't Poo do it. He pushed getting, it back. <laughs> Sorry. He'd rather get his asshole <laughs> yeah. bleached than be so on the foul mouth out. You didn't do that on purpose either, did you? Pushed <laughs> it back. That was crazy. Yeah, no. see, that's a foul mouth out thing there. <laughs> he pushed it in, pushed it back. <laughs> get it? He's having a stool. <laughs> <push>. Stool. <laughs> Ooh. Stool. Squid gets it now. Stool. I get it. He pushed it back. <laughs> a little slow. Uh, hey, <laughs> Matt is our, hasn't uh, had his 16th beer yet. Matt, Matt is our little drummer <laughs> boy. Oh, was my drummer. Um, and uh, we also have uh, Larry is our bass player. Uh, he couldn't make it tonight because of work details. What's oh he's yeah. he's working? Yeah, he has a, you know he has his kid to take care of. And well, you couldn't make up something more interesting like he was getting his balls bleached or something. <laughs> I, I figured it'd be nice to him because he's actually doing something constructive. Right. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Well, you got to work to work, right? Dun, 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 the room here. Oh, a big. Looks like we got a big, guest in the room. Big Come bag. on down, buddy. The gayest pizza bag I've ever big seen. Bag. He's got a big gay pizza bag. What'd you say? That's it. Oh, he's not the pizza guy. Being carried. <laughs> oh, man, I thought you had my sub. I got 
excited. Big bag being Dang, I thought, oh, now I'm delicately hungry. down the stairs. You guys have made me hungry now talking about food. Jesus Christ. <laughs> So you're looking for a lead guitarist. Yeah, we've been, uh, ever since the, the Bernie guy in the picture there <laughs> has left, we've been searching for a new lead guitarist. Um, the guy that's on fire over the here. The guy that's corner. on fire, and that's in more ways than one, I would like to say. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. It He's could be flaming. just an assumption. But awesome. <laughs> right? Don't kick him, Mandy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, look, we're gonna take a we're gonna take a quick break. If for he a wants message. to make gay jokes about his burning guitarist, let him. Yeah. Let's so. hear some gay jokes about your burning guitarist. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. please. Well, let's hear gay a few. Jokes yeah. What you got? Burning guitars. What you got? <laughs> what you got? <laughs> well, all I know is uh, after he stopped playing the band, he uh, started hanging around in Charlie Square and wearing pink shirts with pop collars. No. So what? He's got a beach house in Ray Hoban. Has has been known to frequent fact, yes. the Crimson um, Moon. But <laughs> you know when guys take pictures with each other? What do guys do in pictures with each other? They throw up gang signs and flip fingers off Look and make goofy tough. faces. They take shirts off like me and Squig did. Yeah. Well, that's what he does. He I got Ronnie Giovanni and... licking my nipple. And they put their faces real close together and get big smiles. And uh, I don't know. It was a little fruity. A little fruity for me. But who knows? Whatever he's doing. Was that going on while you were in the band? Or? I was not on stage. Not on stage. <laughs> Sounds like you all want to poke him in the head so with Brent, a bullet. So Brent wasn't in none of those fruity pictures? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> well, I'm not going to say that. None that surfaced. <laughs> not those fruity pictures. None that surfaced. You know, yeah. Halloween's a strange time. None that didn't get lit on fire. Well, you didn't of, see him. He was shows, the one laying on his back <laughs> looking up at him. Tons of drag. <laughs> Those got so. lit on fire. Nothing you can't get without a password. <laughs> right, Ian? Or a safe word. A safe word. All right, well, we're going to take a quick break, and we're going to come right back and uh, do an acoustic song with Lowdown 302 on the Foulmouth Dow Show. Yeah! <laughs> Hi, this is Brent from Lowdown. You're listening to the Foul Mouth Owl Show. Don't forget to tell all your friends, five for Foul Mouth Owl by Friday. Are you considering a music video or promotional video for your band? Wedding, corporate, or personal video project? Call 302-423-0276. Do you need a website or any multimedia product for the web? Elaine Carroll Studios is a professional and personal multimedia studio that specializes in video for the web and big screen. If you are looking for affordable high-def video services for your website, band, TV, then call Elaine Carroll Studios at 302-423-0276. With the best staff and team in the area, we are committed to your project and guarantee your satisfaction. Call Elaine Carroll Studio to get your project started in the right direction today. 302-423-0276 or visit us on the web at DelawareVideography.com. Well, fuck me! They got these TVs where you're taking pee-pees. Hey, y'all, this is Buck Duke Jack, and I love beer and football, baby. You know where I'll be this weekend at the Sports Zone, Smyrna, Delaware. Who needs cheerleaders when you got waitresses like Samantha, Nellie, and Jordan? The Sports Zone in Smyrna is where Bucktooth Jack works. So my wife thinks. Sports Zone is a great place for half-off appetizers and $1.50 drafts at the Sports Zone, Smyrna, Delaware. The Foul Mouth Owl Show is brought to you by Elaine Carroll Studios. Please visit www.delawarevideography.com and The Sports Zone in Smyrna, 235 Stadium Street in Smyrna, Delaware. Check them out on Facebook. Welcome back to the Foul Mouth Owl Show. Everybody. Yeah! Uh, we have a special guest in the house. Little Foul Mouth Al is here for this one little bitty segment where we're going to have Low Down 302 play some music. He wanted to hear him before it's bedtime. So Little Foul Mouth Al, what's your favorite foul mouth word, son? I don't know. Huh? <laughs> I don't know. One word. No. If you were going to cuss and dad wasn't going to beat you. What would it be? What a <laughs> What? What would it be? <laughs> Dad's going to give you a pass on one bad word, dude. You one bad finish. word. Don't tell mom. Tiny. Tiny? <laughs> I don't know. That's a good kid. Poop? All right, good kid. Oh, I've heard him cuss. He knows better. No, he don't cuss. I heard him. Cr I seen him crash a four-wheeler and cuss his brains out. Yeah, he Just did, like he daddy. did do that. He likes to crash his four-wheeler. All right, well, we're going to hear this. What's the name of this song, Brent? Uh, this song's called Old Friend. Old Friend. All right, guys, quiet on a set. A little, little slower number here. Probably gonna crack my voice like Peter Brady halfway through this. All right, let me kill this mic. 
And this is, a, this is a new version. I've never done an acoustic version of this song before, so see how it goes. <clears throat> Thank you. 
on 302. Hey, Albert, these bands are just getting better and better and better and better. Is that making us better? That's making us better. <laughs> and uh, hopefully we'll give them some exposure to the six people that actually listen to this. And, uh, well, I just started listening, so you got seven now. And we got seven. Seven. Yeah, seven. Subscribe. Hey. We'll have, we'll have eight. I don't eight. listen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make her listen later. Yeah, make All her right, listen later. All right, there we go. We don't need you. <laughs> Take that hand with you. That's my stranger. I know, that's your... Well, yeah. that was an awesome song. Great job. Thank you. Sounded good. What'd you guys think? I loved it. It was great. Thank awesome. you. A lot of uh, energy and excitement. I loved it. A lot of energy and excitement. Lowdown302.com. Check them out on Facebook, Reverb Nation, and their show in October, which is where? Tell us about the show again in October. Uh, we have a couple of them. Um, October 1st, we're playing at Mojo 13. Uh, I don't know who else is on that show, uh, so I can't tell you. Um, then October 7th, J.P. McGinnis, uh, we're playing with uh, Savior. Um, then again at J.P. McGinnis on October 28th. And uh, what is uh, Chapel's new group there called? I do not Coffin remember. Full the... of Coffin full of crows. Coffin full of crows. Thank you. Yes. Coffin yes. full of crows. I have crows. a memory. No uh, disrespect yes, to Chapel. I'll that get it. Chapel I Storm Crow. Chapel yes, Storm Crow. Yeah. That's his new thing with Vince. Vince with Vince, yes. yes. Still doing so, the Altered Dagon gig yeah, as well. Yeah, he's doing that. Um, yeah, it's, I just have trouble remembering names. <laughs> I'll get it when I see him. It's It'll, Seth Lapod Dirge. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then we're uh, we playing uh, November twelfth, the same day as the Faithful Friends Rally. I uh, play Creek Bank Shots with uh, our good friends in Black Hand, which you got to check them out if you haven't seen them. Uh, very good band. Uh, and a, a new group, TB and, TBA. And actually, TBA I, actually, I think they're named out now. They're called Sledgehammer. Sledgehammer is the name of the group. Sledgehammer. Oh, the so we get a piece of a puzzle. Yeah, yeah, we get a little piece. The band members are still a mystery, but Sledgehammer is the band. Oh, I knew okay. that. <laughs> what kind of music does Sledgehammer play? That I don't know. And who's in the band? They're, I've heard them. They're, they won't call them. I know. They're on our they're on our uh, management label. They're old friends of mine. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, every band on our label is old friends of mine. Yes. So that it's means they're old fucks. Yes. yes. And uh, lowdown songs aren't aren't all yes. um, long sappy songs yeah. like that. We do have a lot yeah. of. Uh, Not unfortunately, but the, yeah, these guys they're old friends of mine. They're uh, hard rock. Yeah, uh, we play a lot of fast stuff. Uh, we also do you know covers, a lot of um, late '80s, early '90s kind of thrash stuff like Metallica and Megadeth and Iron Maiden, things like that. And we have our own songs, obviously. That we also play. Very cool. So Very it's, cool. it's not all sappy, yeah, that's nice. long, cry songs like that one. Right, right. <laughs> well, you guys don't have to rush out anywhere, do you? Uh, no. You're more than welcome to hang out with us. Oh. And uh, uh, Coffin Fly is supposed to be showing up. We're here. Skinny Dick Jones is joining us. Skinny Dick here. Jones! He brought some Skinny Dick swag, some t shirts, and koozies. And what else we got? Was that it? Hats? Uh, there are some t- bongs. No, no hats, uh, no bongs. Oh, no, um, shit. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Baby steps. Yeah. Baby steps. Yeah, one thing at a time, right? right. All right, well, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back with the Foul Mouth Owl Show. Oh. Yeah! yeah. I'm going to, uh... The Foul Mouth Owl Show is brought to you by Elaine Carroll Studios. Please visit www.delawarevideography.com and The Sport Zone in Smyrna, 235 Stadium Street in Smyrna, Delaware. Check them out on Facebook. <laughs> 